You know those horror movies when a girl's taking a shower? She hears a loud noise on the other room and then she's like, Hello? Is anyone there? So, the girl goes out of the shower, puts on a single white t-shirt, goes around the house trying to figure out what the noise was. To her surprise, she sees the kitchen's back door wide open and all you see behind her is someone staring at her in the shadows from across the hallway. She goes outside, trying to investigate, ends up in the back alley of the whole neighborhood, and she's half naked. She looks behind her and notices someone is following her. So she starts panicking and running and then screaming for help. Suddenly she ends up tripping and falling to the ground. So what happens? Oh god. Okay. Alright, I'm up. I'm gonna put this back. Whoops. I don't wanna end up stabbing myself. Safety first kids. And the other kinds of horror movies that we already know are basically an exorcism and there's always a priest and he's like Be gone demon! Be gone! Okay. Mm, well, this is not one of those kind of movies. Yeah. It Comes at Night. This movie came out last year, 2017. Um, it's directed by Trey Edward and stars Joe Edgerton. Um, he comes out in The Gift, uh, Red Sparrow, and Exodus, Gods and Kings, which is a really good movie too. So the story in this movie is set in a post-apocalyptic world where a disease or a plague took over everything and the people that are left are just trying to survive. One night, they have a break-in, they grab the intruder, tie him outside on a tree to see if he's sick or not. After some time passes by, they question the intruder, come to find out he was only looking for food and water for his family. Seeing that they were a family in need of help, they end up taking him in their house just as long as they followed the rules. Now, I know what you're saying, this doesn't really sound like a horror movie, but it's not always about blood, jump scares, or monsters. In this movie, it's really about, as a human being, what you're willing to do for your family to survive. Throughout the movie, you start questioning yourself whether he did something wrong or right, or whether he's become the bad guy just because he did something to protect his family. It's those questions that we never ask ourselves and scares us because we've never been in a situation like that before. This has to be, by far, one of my favorite horror movies. If you want to see something with mystery and something that will scare you in a different way and probably leave you in shock and awe to the very end, you might want to check this out. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up. Helps me out a lot. Peace.